Hello, I'm in 100 class. This is going to be um, another YouTube video on um, how to create a coaster. This is going to be a speed run on how to create a coaster. Um, so the first thing um, that we do here in Fusion is change the units to inches. So by default, it is inches for me now because that is my default, so which is good. Uh, so I'm not changing anything there. Um, so first, let's um, we need to model the um, uh, the stock for the coaster. So I'm starting with a sketch. I go create sketch and then I'm going to be creating it on the bottom plane here. Um, I use two point rectangle, the starting point at the origin, and then the next point um, arbitrarily. Um, and then once I have that done, then I use sketch dimensions. So I know the height is supposed to be 14 inches. So enter and then the width of the coaster, um, so X direction, it is seven inches. So that'll be the total stock. Um, so that's good. So I have the 2D sketch for my stock done. So I complete the finished sketch here. And then I click extrude um, and I know the distance um, for the extrusion is going to be 0 0.25 or a quarter inch. So I click that, we are creating a new body. I hit enter, there we go. So now if I go to the isometric view, if by clicking the uh, home button on the top here, so we can see the coaster board for us. Um, now um, I have arbitrarily decided that my coaster is going to be um, on the bottom portion of the stock. So I'm going to be designing it that way. So if that is the case, then my partner will have their coaster made at the top, right? Um, so, so now that I've decided at the bottom, um, how do I do that? So I'm going to select the top face here, right? Because we need to be cutting material out of the stock. So, and I'm going to be starting by selecting the top plane here of this object of our stock, right? So I select the top plane there, then I'm going to be creating a sketch on top of it. I click create sketch. Um, so now we are making a sketch on top of this stock, right? Um, I'm, I like uh, my coasters to be circular, so I'm going to create a circle. Um, so that's a center point and then a circle. So for now, that looks fine. Um, so I go create the sketch, uh, the, the, the circle, then I do sketch dimensions. Um, I'm gonna use 6.5 as the diameter for the circle. So this will be the um, outer diameter. And then um, I want this circle to be at the center, right? So uh, so that means 3.5 from the left edge and uh, 3.5 from the bottom as well, because um, um, that gives us the seven by seven, um, half for our uh, uh, for ourselves because our partner will have the other top right so now we have a circle that is centered on the stock uh, with a diameter of um, 6.5 um, next what i do is i'm going to be creating another circle um, that is concentric so i create the center diameter circle here i start with the center um, coincident with the other circle and then I'm create another circle here, right? Um, so that's good. Now to set the diameter, um, the diameter here, I'm gonna set it as um, 6.25 inches, right? So 6.25 inches. Um, so that is a good concentric circle there. And then I'm gonna be uh, selecting finish sketch. So there we go. So now we have a concentric circle here. So the reason why I did this is because now I'm able to select. So this you should be careful while doing this. It's better to be zoomed in. So I can now select this portion that's right in the middle. Um, so that's the ring of that concentric circle. So I make sure you have that selected. So you select that and then I click extrude again. So now, um, well, um, the selection went away, so let me go back and select that. So there we go. So I'm going to extrude it um, minus 
0 0.25 inches. So because I'm going in the negative direction, um, what is happening is it will do a cut operation. And you can see that it's showing up as a cut here. So and then I click OK, and uh, we have uh, the part cut out for us, right? So we have the part um, being cut, and um, so that gives us the outer cut for our coaster. Next, I'm going to be um, next. I'm going to be making my design, inner design. Now, you are free. You, Feel free to use whatever design that you want to make. It's up to you to choose your designs. Um, myself, I'm just going to be using a very simple design right now. So I'm selecting the top um, surface of this circle again, and then I click Create Sketch. So now the sketch is being made on top of that. Um, I'm going to make a couple of arbitrary shapes here. Um, so I generally like uh, ellipses. Um, so, so I'm going to make an ellipse here and um, another ellipse there, maybe. And then uh, I can use the line command here to draw. So again, it's, it's just some arbitrary shape that I'm drawing. Um, maybe I'm ready for Halloween, um, but uh, um, maybe that, that that's hopefully that looks like a drawing. But anyway, um, so that's going to be my design that I'm going to be carving on my uh, coaster, right? So then I click Finish Sketch. So, and once again, um, I'm going to be doing an extrude cut. So I go to Extrude. To select the profiles, I select uh, this oval, I select the other oval, then I select this arbitrary shape. So these three shapes are what are what I want to be cut out from my coaster. Um, so this distance I'm going to do as negative 0.125. And the reason why I'm using negative 0.125 is because uh, that um, 0.125 is the smallest tool that we have. So this allows me to cut everything in one pass. So that's why I'm doing it uh, as 0 0.125. Uh, and then I click OK. So we have uh, uh, the coaster uh, done, design done. Um, so let me show you this in the isometric view. So there we go. So that is how you design a coaster. Now I can save this file. Um, so I go to File, Save, and I was asking for a name, so I'm going to call it uh, Abhishek Coaster. Um, and then I'm saving it in the cloud. You can also save it um, into your local disk. So I go to File, say Export, and then um, I'm saving it in the Downloads folder, Abhishek Coaster version 1. And then I export. Now it's been saved in the Downloads folder. So this is one way of uh, how to create a coaster. Um, in the next video, I'll be showing you how to um, transfer this design into manufacturing and creating tool parts and the G-code. Okay, so thank you for watching.